Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of expanded notation. This is standard 4.2b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 2 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So read a bot three and 48 hundredths pounds of bananas at the store. And we need to take that number and put it in the expanded notation. So there are no digits in our question problem up here. We actually have to find the number kind of hidden in word form or written form, whichever way you want to call it. And we need to put that into expanded notation. So three and 48 hundredths. So let's build a place value chart based on what we have right there. And remember, when we are speaking or writing our decimals, this word and becomes extremely important. That kind of anchors it because and is used to express decimal. So we might say three dot or three point, but really technically we're supposed to say three and. That word and it represents our decimal. So that kind of gives us at least uh, an anchor point to see what comes before or what comes after. So what comes before that decimal? All I have is three. So it looks like it's going to just go to the ones place. And then 48 hundredths. Now we need to go over two spots right here to get to the 48 hundredths. And let's make sure we understand what our place values are worth. Tenths, hundredths, THS. So there we go. There's my three and, that's my and right there, 48 hundredths. All right, so now we have it in standard form. And so let's write that. Standard form is just the form with just pure numbers. This up here is written form or word form. So now that we've got it in standard form, we can start to put it into our expanded notation. Now, expanded notation is similar, but not a identical to expanded form. So we've been working on expanded form for a few years now. So let me just put those kind of side by side so you can see how they work. So form, expanded form is what we're used to. Notation is what we are learning, continuing to learn. We learned expanded notation in third grade, but now we're extending it to decimals. So when we're trying to write this number in expanded form, we just write the value of the digit. So a three in the ones place is worth three. Pretty simple. In expanded notation, what we do is we represent the value as a multiplication problem. So what we do is we take the digit in that place value, three, and we multiply it by its place value. It's in the ones place, so we're going to multiply it by one. Our second number, our second factor is always going to be the place value. So 3 times 1 still equals 3, but what it does is it expanded notation does a better job of showing you the place value because you can always know the place value based on whatever that second factor is. Now it gets a little bit trickier when we start putting in our decimals. Whole numbers a little bit easier, decimals are a little bit more tricky. So this is 0.4, right? So this 4 is in the tenth spot, but remember when we write decimals, and if there's nothing in that ones spot, we never leave that ones spot blank. We always put something in the one spot. And if there's nothing that we want to put in there, we're going to put a zero. Now, we're not going to put that three in there because we already dealt with our three right there. So we're going to just look at the value of the four in the tenths place, and it's 0 0.4. So we always start with a zero, and that's going to be four times its place value. And its place value is the tenths spot right there. Or you could do four times one-tenth. And then our last one is going to be 0 0.08, right? So that's in the 800ths. And you can do 8 times 100th or 8 times. You can always do it as a fraction as well. So our problem up here has decimals. So let's take a look at that. G and 8, J are automatically gone. Uh, F looks good in the 10th spot. And so what we're looking here is now that looks wrong right there those two are switched so actually what we need right here is our answer of f